Well, Hunter, the full extent of Florida's damage from Milton and flooding are not going to be known until the coming days. But right now, we do know there's going to be a lot of cleanup. I mean, take a look at this video in Sarasota and Tampa last night. ABC's Lionel Moise reports from residents in the storm zone that were directly impacted. People across Florida hoping to assess the damage after a terrifying night. For all 37 years being in Tampa, I've never seen like this something. Power flashing and then this. And in Plant City. We've lost power about 23 times and then it's come back on 24 times. Um, it's flickering now. Families in the dark, more than 2 million power outages overnight. In Seminole, trees crashing down. I've heard some things hitting my uh, hitting my house, so I'm going to have to go expect that in the morning when it's safe to go outside. And in St. Petersburg. My husband just told me to watch out for alligators. A lake flooding this neighborhood. Gloria McNair taking shelter with her 10-year-old grandson. Kelly, I stayed home, but this one is a little different. 14 shelters were opened in the Tampa Bay area alone. Officials say nearly 150 shelters across the state can hold up to 200,000 people. At the Moffitt Cancer Center, doctors and nurses weathering the storm with patients so they can continue their treatment. A priority is to get him out. One woman flew to New York, traumatized by Hurricane Helene, after several feet of water poured into her condo parking lot. Even on the third floor, she wasn't sure she'd make it. It was like a white water rat crafting water going through my park lot and I'm a mile from the beach, a mile. I can't imagine what's going to happen. In Sarasota, Calvin Bryant, a resident since 1957, decided to hunker down. Your kids and grandchildren told you to please leave. What was your response? Uh, I'm not going nowhere. Through the storm, neighbors pitching in to help one another. We, you know, exchanged some foods. She, she gave me some chicken. I gave her some lasagna. We <laughs> kind of just, you know, hugged it out. And in Fort Myers, the search for higher ground. And while some boarded up their homes or used sandbags to keep out water, this homeowner got creative, tying it down with jumbo straps. Analysts warn this storm could cost anywhere from 60 to $100 billion in insurance losses, approaching the record set by Hurricane Katrina. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York. And Milton comes on the tails of Hurricane Helene that hit almost two weeks ago. Florida, just one of the six states recovering.